Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading guys. This is the room tarot. Hey. So if this is your first time, um, I would suggest to check the description below so you can be guided when watching general tarot readings. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much guys for coming back. I appreciate you all. So we start with the oracle cards to get the general vibe and then we clarify it with the tarot deck. And for you Sagittarius, we're getting the Five of Fire, the Dreamer, which is the Fool card. Um, worth waiting for, give your relationship a chance, honesty is essential, miracles and blessings. So the Dreamer is a major arcana card, so I think it trumps the Five of Fire here. Bold and daring conversation or argument with someone. They're surprised of how you actually, given your ideas, you may have given like a, revo like a revolutionary uh, idea that really surprised them. This could be Aquarius or, uh, you know, Uranus um, planet. Um, could be something to do with astrology, with the five of fire. So we're dealing with the fire energy. We have worth waiting for. So with this conversation, this conflict, you know, giving and receiving ideas, um, there's competition, some kind of um, an information that is quite uncomfortable. Could be about work, your person, your family. But it's some kind of taking a leap of faith towards, you know, trusting yourself that you can actually contribute. You're no longer keeping your mouth shut. You are participating in the story. You're allowing yourself to be open and embrace um, the situation here, however chaotic it might be. So there might be some someone that has to go, has to leave. Them. If you really love this person, it's worth waiting for. It's divinely guided and give this relationship a chance. So when it comes to, you know, reaching out to this person or them reaching out to you, there's an energy here of um, being honest about how you feel because this could be like a soulmate energy where you guys will be learning from it and it will be beneficial for you in the future. So we're going to clarify this now with the tarot deck. The current energy here is the Four of Swords. Very top here we have the world. Wow. What's underneath is the Nine of Pentacles. Very nice. Um, in the past here we have the Two of Cups. And then the outcome is the Five of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Cups here. So the Four of Cups talks about the Queen of Wands. So this is like an Aries energy, you know, talking about stability, reevaluating your foundation. What do you really want? what um, makes you happier, okay? Um, getting into your core, getting into um, he, who you really are. You being the queen of wands, you're more of being focused, being dedicated, committed to the ability of your relationship, how this affects what really makes you happy. You know, really taking the time to make sure that um, your soul will be happy as well with this person. So just taking your time to rest, allowing the relationship to uh, grow in you. We're getting um, air sign and then heiress or any fire sign. The very top here is the world card. Someone isn't happy about an ending here with the world card and the nine of swords. So this is earth sign, Saturn energy. We have Capricorn, Aquarius, and then um, air sign right here. Someone has to move, someone has to go, and there's an energy here of um, another person or this earth sign could be just so in their mind and they can't believe that they did that or they have said that you know with that conflict tackled earlier at the bottom of the deck here we have the nine of pentacles i'm seeing gemini virgo um, earth sign we have leo energy when it comes to harvest when it comes to really making sure that you're well taken care of there is a great chance of that possibility for you sagittarius it's a big yes if you're looking for prosperity, abundance, um, because this is what the universe wants you to know. The sun and the world card showing in your reading. So there's definitely a great um, success waiting for you here. And it looks like the universe will be at your side and making sure this you get this. Okay, so let's see. There could be like a Leo energy here, or it could be your energy that is happy being single i mean they get their freedom they get to um, acquire their sense of self once again so embracing life here the two of cups so this is soulmate energy union 
contracts coming together and it's with the eight of wands so this is in the past but this reading is timeless so there could be an energy here of um, some kind of a union that manifested in the past it's some kind of a magical um, love this could be love messages you know this is water sign and fire sign it was something that you have been waiting for to hit the ground and finally you got this union with this person could be a job opportunity as well there could be some kind of health issues stress related issues could be literally a physical injury here that caused you to be forced to rest or healing or go through some kind of recovery and then we have the five of cups so with the death card so these are both kind of scorpio energy going through transformation going through um grieving or just sad about it um can't seem to move on from you sag longing for a rebirth they're longing for a second chance with you so i don't know how or why but it could just be that severed connection between you guys because of the conflict where this person just took a leap of faith and left i think that you know you're aware that once you get through the situation there will be some great reward waiting for you here with the world card and the sun card so thank you so much Saj, for watching and i'll talk to you guys in your next reading take care bye for now